most of what happened after the Great Depression of the 1930s, most of the rest of the 20th century here in the United States was shaped in profound ways by what happened in the 1930s. That was an economic trauma. Mm. And you don't overcome trauma easily, as you know, if you've struggled with it in your own personal life. We are now going through a trauma like the Great Depression, and it will affect and shape the 21st century at least as profoundly as the 1930s did. Try to think with me for a moment. Everything that happened to elderly people that we call social security, that was created in the depths of the depression of the 1930s because people were desperate and they demanded that the government help the average person, which the government in this country had not been used to doing any more then than it has been recently. So think about how your life, your family, your parents, your whole financial situation would have been different if the sustenance of your elderly relatives had been your responsibility mm -hmm. rather than shared with an, uh, a pension system set up and managed uh, securely by the government. Professor Wolf, does it look like we're going that way now? No, we do not have, at least not yet in the United States, anything like what was called the New Deal Coalition in the 1930s. This union of a massive organizing drive by labor, the, the CIO, the Congress of Industrial Organizations. We don't have anything like that now. We don't have two powerful socialist parties, and we certainly don't have a communist party, all of which were big and strong in those days and worked together, even with their disagreements, which were so significant, they worked together and together they were a very powerful political force that's why we got social security that's why we got unemployment compensation imagine what would have happened right now if we didn't have in place the officers the personnel the funds everything necessary to help and, and we're looking at a situation now starvation basically mm -hmm. and then we had the first minimum wage so no employer can pay a person uh, below what is livable the way we have so many, why we have a fight for 15 in this country now. And then the big one, I've left it to last. The federal government hired 15 million Americans who had been fired by their private employers. They were immediately rehired by the government. They were given an important job to do they built many of the national parks in the West that Americans like to visit. They did some of the first environmental and ecological reclamation projects the country ever saw. And they earned a good income, which meant they could pay their rent, they could pay their mortgages, they could keep their homes, they didn't have to disrupt their families. None of those things, or nothing like them, is happening now. We are going through a terrible unemployment and neither the Democrats nor the Republicans are having any kind of conversation about a federal jobs program. Mm -hmm. I mean, these are the things we would need to have if we were serious.